So then another choice that I wondered about is the choice of uh, consumers to choose whether or mm -hmm. not they're going to have genetically modified mm -hmm. food. And part of that mm -hmm. relies on information. Yeah. Is there a reason they shouldn't know that, GM, that the, there's GMOs in their product? Well, let, let me start by there's absolutely no reason why they shouldn't know. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm not there. There's no reason you shouldn't know. Um, but I would say that I believe more strongly in voluntary labeling, which is occurring today. And I think one of the fabulous examples of that's Cheerios. Um, General Mills came out and labeled it and voluntarily labeled it. Um, I'm really, really concerned and nervous about state initiatives, not because I don't want the consumer to know. It's because imagine the day if we had a regulatory system that was designed state by state. I, I, I tell the story, I'm from St. Louis, which happens to sit on a river, divides Missouri and Illinois. Imagine the food delivery truck that has to stop at the state line and unload, cross the river, the state line, and load up with packages that are labeled for that state and go ahead. It adds cost. We have to find a way as an industry, cooperatively working together with the regulators, to find a system that allows the consumer the visibility they want. But please, let's not do it with a patchwork state by state, because that adds cost to all of us. And I worry most about the ones that can't afford the kind of cost increase that it could occur. A, a dollar is a lot for them. So we need to manage that. But it's, it's so that we get to a transparent system. Um, it's not to hide anything. We, we, we don't have anything to, to hide. And I, and I would go so far that there are options today for someone that really wants to stay away from GMO. And, and I, I'm okay with that. I'd love to be able to convince everybody in the room and everybody in Colorado and California to, to buy it. But I, I realize there's choices out there. The organic label is certified by the USDA. It's non-GMO to grow organic food. So that's there. There are companies starting to voluntary label. So we're making progress. We need to go faster. We need to get that addressed. So is there, a, like, just to stay with this labeling question for a little bit longer, is there a model out there that looks like the kind of thing that you think would be appropriate? Well, I think, first of all, I think one of the most important things is we need something that runs across all the states. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not going to suggest that the, the legislation that's in DC today is the right answer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it is a model. It basically says FDA is in charge, FDA decides, it, and then we'll do that holistically. Um, okay with other ideas, but I don't see one. Um, I haven't seen someone getting out and, and coming up with another one. There's some ideas around barcoding and those kinds of things on packages. I, I don't have an issue with that, but I'm not a packaged food company. Mm -hmm. I, I can't speak to that. I don't say that to, to not take a position. I just, that's not our business. That's the food companies. We work with them. We're part of their supply chain. We understand that and we want to do all we can, but they're the ones that actually have those packages. But there are alternatives there mm -hmm. uh, that need to be investigated. But I, I think at the end of the day, we, we, we need to keep in mind that um, it, whether food is grown organically through the use of biotechnology, through conventional breeding, um, for whatever system, we have the safest food supply in the US. They're all equally healthy, nutritious, and they need to remain affordable. Mm -hmm. No one's ever been able to show a difference between those production systems. They are different production systems, but they grow the same food. I have no concern with somebody making choices. People make those choices all the time on lots of things. Um, but let's make sure that we keep it reasonable. 